from the splash zone. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Okay, we are. Um, Moji might not seem like that she's here, but she is here today. Just hello. Jesus Christ! Did, did did Moji's voice come out of your mouth, Brevi? That's weird. I'm practicing um, <laughs> ventriloquism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ventriloquism? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, all wait. right. You know, whatever. I don't even know. Oh, all right. Um, astral anyway. projection. Yeah, astral projection. <laughs> yeah, sorry, like she does have the space it, you know. thing going on over there. So yeah. I get them confused. So <laughs> yeah, easy. Um, but welcome. We're back to Seven Scarlet. Um, I forgot about this, but yeah. Didn't our game crash last time we played this? Yes! We were a little yeah, yeah, that's when we stopped. stopped. So I forgot where we stopped and I forgot what we chose here. So uh oh, whoopsies, I think we gamers. Said you're kind of cute. Yeah, I think we okay. said. Oh you're yeah, kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, I can't because normally if this were a fresh save file, I could just like do an auto skip and it would take you right to where we left off. But that's not happening today. <laughs> um. But anyway, welcome back, fellas. Um, uh, it's Seven Scarlet. Hi, my name is Nur. I I voice. Uh, I almost fucking said two milk. I voice Green Day Day Green. <laughs> well, I mean, you wouldn't be wrong. If I, only I, I we sure, were back at the cafe. If I only. The cafe. Yeah. My my name is Ten Ten Arcade, and I voice Sasuke Tatahira, who might you not even show up in this goddamn route. Kasu Chicago, Susano Yua. Yeah, my name's Macha, and I voice Asora Amari, uh, Sukiyomi Kagura, uh, Kikyo Yoe, Kuji Murakumo. <laughs> my name <laughs> is Moji, and I voice Toa, Yuzuki, and Yuki. And I'm actually Brevi talking, and I voice Hino, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Makiko, and... Uh, Yasu. Yeah, Yasu. Um, yeah, I forget where we left off here. So, do I just, like, skip until we feel like... I, I think we're at the festival? Yeah, we're at the festival, I think. You crash at the festival. Got, yeah, I think we just got to the festival Okay. And, like, the back of the load or something. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... You wanted to save and then it fucking crashed. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Classic yeah you were seven like, Scarlet. we should save. And then it yeah. said no. Classic Seven Scarlet behavior right there sure is oh right, yeah let's start here cat. yeah yeah all right well after saying goodbye to the kitten we go, go go out onto the main street which is lined with night stalls unlike the quiet deserted atmosphere it had yesterday there are so many people here now that we need to weave our way through them i had no idea this town had so many people i had no idea this town was existed there's a cg this time the, uh, uh, oh. yeah it's a small town, but the summer festival is a popular event that only happens once a year. So it's much livelier than it was yesterday. I love the smell of fried food. I think I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you don't look well. Are you okay? I, I, I'm not very good with crowds. Oh, really? Will you be all right? Uh, oh, t sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you worry. I, I'm seriously worse. I invited you to go to the festival with me, so it would be stupid to be done win by the crowds. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. It's it's just ridiculous, really. Yeah. Ha ha ha. There's no need for you, for you to get so worked up about it, Toa. Don't push yourself too hard. Should we grab some food and find somewhere a little less crowded then? Ew. So nice. Toa mutters. So what do you want? Um, I, I wonder what we should get. The yakisoba would be hard to share. I already bought some dokoyaki for the cat, so maybe okonomiyaki? No, that's too similar to dokoyaki. <laughs> Cotton candy won't fill you up. Chocolate bananas are a bit childish and a bit phallic. Um, what, what about masks? Masks, maybe? Not masks. Oh, fuck, you can't use masks. 
Uh, uh, Toa, there's some yakitori over there. Let's get a few skewers. Oh, and hot dogs would be easy to eat, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, okay, I'll go buy the yakitori, and you go get the hot dog. Um, Toa? Wh what is it? Wouldn't it be okay if we buy them together? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not thinking straight. Probably okay. a little buy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm by too. Let's go. I say, pulling his hand. <laughs> I try to walk, but Toa doesn't move. Huh? What's wrong, Toa? I, I uh, um. Huh? When I turn around to see Toa standing there, as stiff as a board. Toa? The, um. His face turns red in the blink of an eye. What's up with him? Hands. Oh Hands? <laughs> oh, oh. Wanting to pull Toa along to buy food, I had it unconsciously, unconsciously grabbed his hand. <laughs> oh, oh no! My God, I'm so lewd. <laughs> unconsciously. I'm asleep now. I'm on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I woke up. I quickly pull my hand away. His embarrassment starts to make me embarrassed too. No, uh, um. Turn to apologize. It'll just make me more embarrassed. Uh, right, sorry. Oops. I almost apologized again, but I stopped myself. Uh, uh. uh, the vibe between us is weird. I find myself looking down. Uh, let's go. Yakitori, right? It's over here. <laughs> he smiles bashfully, and I grin back me meekly. Right. As I watch him, my stomach is filled with butterflies. Ew. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Do you think you'll be able to relax now? Yeah. We brought some cool stuff, too. Who was there at the cotton candy he just bought? Or to be precise, at the hand on the bag. The instant you saw that, you ran right over to it. It's awesome. The lady from the general store was telling me about it earlier. She said that the Okune Panda sells better than any other character-related goods, even those from popular manga. The people of Okunazato sure do love it. Uh, hey, the Okune Panda was, has a hand towel wrapped around its ears, right? Do you know why that is? No. You, Toa? Uh, of course. Um, do you mind if I explain it? No, go ahead. Oh, I love info dumping. Oh, okay. So, perfect. Um, uh, oh, sorry. You can, you can eat your yakitori while we listen. Now, first off, had do you ever heard of the Okune Panda before coming here? No, I never heard of it. I think I might have glimpsed on the Supernatural Club website. I think I heard that no one knows who actually created it. Sounds like you knew the basics. Okay, then I'll start from the beginning. And so Toa slowly starts explaining. Hmm? More than ten years ago, <laughs> Kanazato was famous for its hot springs. There used to be a hot spring district with a bunch of hotels, but since it was hard to get to, it was practically secret. Now, why don't you just drop a car Even so, enough around. guests came to make this small town flourish. Car battery. Car battery. <laughs> but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. When the car battery? Car battery. <laughs> when the car battery attacked. <laughs> I guess passed away while soaking in the bathtub along with the car battery and got electrocuted <laughs> inside of the waters. Oh no! Oh <laughs> god! <laughs> the cause of death was, of course, electrocution. <laughs> But ultimately, it was because the guest had hot problems and entered the bathtub drunk. <laughs> I hate what I Which didn't help with the electrocution <laughs> part either. Just like Action Park. <laughs> you guys know about Action Park. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the hotel's fault, but the town leaders made it a big deal out of it, and it was necessary. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Action Park's fault. It was the guest. 
in the end, the truth got distorted, and people went around saying that it was noxious fumes from the spring that had killed the person. The more exaggerated the fabrications got, the faster they spread. Those baseless rumours hurt the reputation of the town. Until finally, the largest hot springs hotel in town was forced to close its doors. Because of that, the Holtzberg district quickly became abandoned. But the Farincon Hotel has a hot springs bath. If they're really noxious fumes, then the Farincon Hotel's bath would be dangerous too, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's also why I said it was a rumor that got totally extrapolated and is not true. So what do you think I'm okay? <laughs> I've been using the baths like a lot. Oh my god. Her fucking face right now, too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Left. Uh, right. Left. Uh, Hello? When did Sosuke Left. get here? <laughs> huh? Is that it? No, what? Uh, oh, yeah. That, that's it. Uh, weren't you supposed to be telling me about the Okina Panda? The Okuno Panda. Oh, oh, that's that's right. That's, that's not the end. Ha ha ha! Then please continue. Uh, oh, um, yeah. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> um, oh. There was a boy who was in the biggest hotel, the biggest hot springs hotel. He was in early grade school, of elementary. Who the fucking who has the fucking music box and is winding it for these scenes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Uh, I'm, I'm not such As for, for the ambiance. Even though he was a kid, it really hurt him to see the adults suffer like that. One day, he did want something and brought it to the adults. Oh no. <laughs> he thought that if oh. he could make a character that symbolized the town, he could bring back the guests and make it flourish all over again. Could that be? That's how Okunai Panda was born. That's why it has a towel wrapped around its ears and carries a wooden bathtub bucket. It's supposed to remind you of the hot springs. Huh? It carries a wooden bucket? Oh, I guess it didn't in early drawings of it. Wow, but why is it a panda? What? I mean, pandas aren't even from Japan. Oh my god! And are mighty more pot springs. God. I feel like the Okina monkey would be more fitting. Jesus Christ, Green Day! <laughs> Green mean, Day! It was created by a child, so <laughs> you know, there is going to be some creativity. <laughs> uh, fucking the Green Day! With it. But I'm not so sure about that myself. Well... Maybe it's because pandas are popular, and I mean, it was a kid, <laughs> up with, you know, a child, someone who was very young. That's no excuse. Really just trying to help. It's unrealistic. <laughs> At the fucking, fucking music box. Hello, <laughs> anyway. oh, I, I wound it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Kune Panda was born. But at first, it had a hard time catching on, and never became very popular. So, in the end, the kid wasn't able to help the town out at all. It would have helped the town if it was a monkey. <laughs> but, somehow, the doodle of the Okune Panda was recently posted online, and made its way around various internet circles. <laughs> so, now, it's become a well-known character that represents this town. It's... Just like any old mascot, except people online went crazy for it. Oh, now they're selling merchandise of it. Wow, I had no idea that Okinawa Panda had a history like that. Wait, but the lady at the souvenir shop said no one who knows who first came up with the Okinawa Panda. If what you said is true, then it was that kid who is living in the Hot Springs Hotel. He should be pretty easy to track down, shouldn't he? Oh, but that hotel doesn't exist anymore. And no one's seen that kid since then, or so I've heard. Kids do. You know, they did. They, they, they did do grow up. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's rather shocking, I know. Well, that's really shocking. 
Top 10 shocking. <laughs> Top 10 shocking things. Kids grow up. What? I was born an adult, Toa. Your poor mother. Oh, That's the most shocking thing of all. <laughs> And that's why the creator of the Okume Panda is a mystery. Some people say that it's even one of Okuna's Auto's seven mysteries. You sure know a lot about this town, Toa. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I, I'm not one for urban legends, but I've always loved myths and mysterious stuff like that. That's why I'm a member of the Okuna's Auto Supernatural Club. But you're an unusual sight. Damn. Wow. <laughs> a, a girl? Yeah. Well, I, I, I've only seen them in movies. <laughs> oh. I never thought someone like you would come to the Supernatural Club's offline meeting. But yeah, I can see that. After all, I am a female? <laughs> you said you were looking for your brother. Right? <laughs> Side plot? Yeah, my subplot. I hope, there's I hope there's something I can do to help. Oh my god, are you are you gonna actually help me with the subplot? I mean, I'll try. Oh, oh, oh no, you no don't. Through. Oh, oh well, you don't have to do anything. I can't let you get wrapped up in my issues. But oh, is your yakitori getting cold? Go ahead and eat. Here, you want the chicken tail, right? Thanks. The tail is really good. I love it too. Yeah, it's good even when it's cold. Isn't it kind of bland? Huh? You think so? So, um, we can take a bite I from knew. our skewer or try a bite from Toa's skewer. I you knew that was a <laughs> shit! Yes. Alright, chat. Remember, yep. you we can spend 100 points choose. to grab our controller. Can choose, or we're gonna let fate decide who we're biting, who we're stealing food from, ourselves or Toa. See, hmm. what shall it be? Hmm. Oh, oh, Mon, 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 <laughs> well, goodbye. He's about to do something unconsciously now. I, gra <laughs> I grab his hand and take a bite from the skewer of chicken. You he's grab holding. his hand? Wait, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, is it? I think the sauce is nice and thick. <laughs> really? That's all he says, looking down at the ground. What's up with him? Jesus Christ, Green Day. <laughs> Green Day. <laughs> Toa. His ears are bright red. His hands are trembling. He's holding the skewer of chicken I just took a bite from. Ow. Oops. So I'd already started eating No, that. you stupid mother- <laughs> My cheeks burn. <laughs> Indirect kiss. Um, it's not the- Uh. <laughs> um, I, I, I think you should be more careful. Maybe a little bit more careful. Uh, right. Sorry. Embarrassed at what I did, I hang my head for a while. Then I glance up at him with upturned eyes or gaze at me. Heh <laughs> heh. <laughs> Somehow it's so funny we can't help but laugh. As we laugh, the awkward tension evaporates. Oh. Oh. That's. Hey, you're right. The, mu the musical? Jellical cats. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All alone in the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, I, start, kitty kitty. <laughs> I start shoving all of the food into my bag. Oh, it's been nice, so I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't like Andrew Lloyd Webber? <laughs> Not my favorite one, but... Uh, two cats appear from an alleyway, slip by me, and purr at Toa's feet. Toa gently pets them. The cats purr, meowing softly at him. Cats really do love you, Toa. <laughs> I guess so. I feel like more have been coming up to me since I came here, though. 
Since he came to Okunazato? Huh. Maybe that's one of Okunazato's seven mysteries. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's probably just because there's a lot of cats here. He grins as he gives the bland yakitori to the cats. Okunazato really is a strange town. There's nothing here, but I like it a lot. Hey Toa, is this your first time here? Um... Toa? Uh, wh what time is it? <laughs> time for you to get a watch. I mean, it's 8.20. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, we've got to hurry. All at once, Toa seizes my hand and begins running at full speed. Huh? Hey, wait! I run down the street as he pulls me along. We pass through the deserted shrine, deserted street and climb up, to, climb up the hill near the Okina Shrine. So what? I can't run any farther! We, we almost there. He turns off the paved road as we continue down a path of bad footing. I can hardly stay upright as I gasp for breath. Toa's grip is stronger than I thought as he drags me along through the darkness, Kingdom Hearts. Ugh. Suddenly, my field of vision widens. We finally arrive at... An overlook right behind the Okina Shrine, which looks down on the town. <gasps> I'm sorry for pulling you along like that, but I really wanted you to see this. These are the best seats in the house. The best seats? The instant I asked that. Whoa! Ah, fireworks.mp4. <laughs> Whoa! Scary. The, the firework shoots up into the sky from the center of town and explodes among the stars. This hill that overlooks the entire town is the best place to watch the fireworks show. Man, Asora and Hino don't know shit here. Beautiful. <laughs> this, this is the first time I've seen fireworks so close. I'm the only one who knows about this place. I have been come here in a while, though. I'm glad it's still exactly the same. Oh, there's no fence here, so please watch your step. I will, thanks. We fall silent look up at the sky as it becomes packed with fireworks. The blooming sparks change color and shape as they fill the sky above us. Oh, now that I think of it, our hands. I feel a sensation in my left hand as I look up at the sky. We're still holding hands. Can you hide the text box real quick and show how big his fucking hands are? <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> Excuse me? Bisexual is right. Those are yaoi hands. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong uh -huh. with him? <laughs> He's a street fighter. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Those are street fighter proportions. Oh my god. He's just gonna go on the hands again? Girl, you need to stop. His long, slightly stop. chilly fingers are wrapped around. 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 Around the back of my hand. Oh my god, I almost <laughs> snorted up hot. I think that might have been a wrong. So <laughs> I'm continuing watching the fireworks without moving. He must not have noticed that my small, <laughs> tiny hand is in his giant fucking hand. How would he notice that, really? <laughs> it's just this tiny little dot. I'm not sure what to do, <laughs> but for some reason I don't want him to let go. I pretend that I haven't noticed anything and squeeze his hand just a tiny bit. Mm. Ah. He squeezes my hand back conscious uncon unconsciously. It's not the right word. It's not the right word. <laughs> Just fucking knocks out again. No, he's knocking out too. Oh. It's his turn now. As if in reply. No. It's pretty. Um, fireworks, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're beautiful. We continue holding hands and looking up at the summer sky until the last firework fades to nothing. <laughs> God. The sky becomes jet black once again and I can hear them announce the end of the show in the distance. Aww, it's over. I wish it could have gone on longer, but I'm really glad I was able to watch them with Toa. It was such a great view, too. 
The fireworks were awesome. Uh -huh. I don't hear a reply in it, so I peer over at him. Hey, Toa, what's wrong? He suddenly returns to his senses and gives me his usual smile. Oh, sorry. I, I was just... I I thought I heard someone's voice. Someone's voice? All, all the way out here? Yeah. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Maybe I imagined it. I'm the only one who knows about this place, so one should be able to find us. He says, looking down. Then he finally realizes we're still holding hands. Oh, I've done... It's Tori... He quickly pulls his hand away. No, it's fine. I can tell his face is getting redder as the summer moon shines down on it. I, um, I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I oh, I, I mean, it, not that I don't like it, but I'm, I just trying to say that it w wasn't on purpose or anything. I, I promise. Seeing how flustered it is, I feel like I might burst out laughing. Doing my best to hold it back and thank him for the fireworks show. So, uh, thank you so much for bringing me to such a wonderful spot. The fireworks were truly beautiful. Oh, I'm just glad you liked it. The ones that turned from purple to red were really great. Do you remember those? Huh? From purple to red? Uh, sorry, I don't know. But I, I mean, I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop thinking about how I wanted to show you the fireworks from here. I mean, he was holding our hands unconsciously. He missed the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Toa. How about that, actually? Did you know there'd be fireworks? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. You could say that. I guess... I mean, I do it every year, so... Uh, Toa, do you come to Okunazato often? You knew about the fireworks, and it seems like you've known about this overlook for a long time. The history of the Okina Panda was interesting, too. You seem to know a lot about this town. Um. Sorry, if you don't want to tell me, I really don't have to. <laughs> it, no, it, it's, it's, that's not it. That's, that's not it. I, I just... Probably somewhere deep down. I don't want to hide anything from you. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Um, I... He takes a deep breath. I visited this town, just like you said. Well, to be honest, I was born here. What? I grew up in this town. I lived here until I was about 14 years old. I even went to Okune Middle School over there, though I wasn't there long, and I don't have many good memories. I transferred to another school. And then that pool you hated, the one that you are telling me about before. <laughs> yeah, it's that 25 meter pool over there. When I went to school earlier to take a look, it was still there. They haven't remodeled it at all, so it's exactly as I remember it. I was a bit taken aback. The school building, the grounds, the gymnasium, they're all the same. I just kind of tightened up seeing it. I guess my memories from back then are still tormenting me. Middle school was hell. Yeah, sure is. But, but you know... I need to learn how to get over the garbage from the past. Garbage? From the past? Yeah, middle school. <laughs> yeah? I mean, we can't keep letting it bother me now forever, right? I mean, I'm 20 for God's sake. Besides, even though I have lots of bad memories here, I still love this town for some reason. The air, the smell, the atmosphere. I felt that even more strongly since I returned here. I'm not really sure why. I could probably live a much easier life if I decided to hate this town and abandon it. So, um, we can say you're so kind, Toa, or you're amazing, Toa. 
I was like really hoping Ooh. it would have crashed just there. Oh my god, you just want me to suffer, don't you? <laughs> All right, time to flip a coin. Yeah. Just in case, mm -hmm. unless someone grabs the controller. Yeah. Won't be me. <laughs> All right, it is. You're amazing, Toa. Oh, you're amazing, Toa. Getting over your middle school oh. trauma. You're amazing, Honestly, Toa. Uh huh. You're trying to face those painful memories and overcome them. I couldn't ever do that. I don't even have memories, Toa. What's middle school? Wh Why do you think that? Shake my head, my head instead of replying. I have no idea how to face the fact that my brother's just gone. Maybe by coming to the town, I'll find some way to overcome it. That's my wish, but I'm hopeless. That, that's not true. Noah says at once. You're so amazing. You, you make me want to stay with you and get stronger. Toa? Uh, oh. Uh, um, it's, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. This time he falls silent. Maybe I said something strange. Hey Toa, want, want to look around the stalls some more before we go back? Oh, r right. Yeah, let's do that. We turn our backs to the town lights and walk back down the path we came on. We find some stalls that are still open, buy an Okina Panda mask, and return to the hotel. By the time we reach the hotel, Toa looks a bit tired. Toa, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. My heart is still pounding from all the ramming. I guess I'm out of shape. Oh, that was a while ago. You should probably <laughs> see a doctor. Yeah. Want me to get you some barley tea from the cafe? Oh, not the barley tea. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just oh, barley tea, I see. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, actually, something's been bothering me. What is it? I realized it was... <laughs> I realized it as I was waiting for you in the park. I forgot to lock my door when I left. What? You should have said something earlier. It's not that I couldn't, couldn't mention it. It's just... I was just having so much fun with you that I... Um... Thanks for today. Had a great time. I should be the one thanking you. Because of you, I was able to play with those cute cats. Eat a bunch of delicious food and watch the fireworks from a place with an amazing view. Toa shakes his head. No. Really grateful to you. So, so um, I really want to thank you somehow. But there's really nothing I can do. You don't need to thank me. No, I, I definitely have to. Huh? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm really, I'm not really good at much, but is there anything at all I can do? Like I said earlier, I'm pretty familiar with this town, so I wonder if I could help you look for your brother or something. Of course, I'm not sure I'd be as helpful as your friend Hina or Yuki, since he's so smart for being in middle school. But it's like, I want to do something too. It feels like his words are piercing my heart by him offering to help you? I never thought he'd say something like that. Thank you, I understand. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Uh, okay, I'd be so happy to help you if I could. Okay, then. I'm going back to my room. You left it unlocked, right? Uh, oh, th that's right. Toa suddenly looks like he's about to panic. Heh <laughs> heh, I'll head back to my room after and I figure out what's going on with work tomorrow. Uh, okay, see you tomorrow then. See you. You don't look well, so be sure to get a good night's sleep. Uh, I will. Thanks. Toa what, lightly waves his hand and dashes away. I should get back to my room, too. No one's at the front desk. I wanted to ask about tomorrow's schedule. I wonder if it's okay to go to the staff room. Just as I think that, someone comes out from behind the front desk. That's... 
You are? Whoa! So, uh, why are you so surprised? <laughs> no reason. I, like, didn't think, like, anybody was here because of, like, that festival. Did you, like, just get back? Yeah, just a little while ago. Huh, like, so how was the festival? It was really fun. I even bought a little mask. I haven't done that in a while. I say, showing her the Okina Panda mask. Do you, like, buy masks, like, regularly? <laughs> no, I don't. Whoa, you're, like, daring. No one will recognize you if you take it back as, like, a souvenir, you know? That's okay. I wanted to buy something that's only available in this town. So I bought one, too. An Akune Panda mask? Huh. He did. Did he? The festival was a lot of fun thanks to you, Yua. I appreciate huh? you lending me this yukata and for taking care of work while I was gone. You know, oh. Yua helped that. Man, why didn't you just, like, go on a date with me? I mean, uh, well, uh, there there wasn't really, like, much work to do. No one would come to the small hotel like this in the middle of, like, a festival. So I, like, stepped out for a bit and bought some fried corn on the cob. Ha ha ha, yeah, it's not that far from here. Anyway, there weren't like any problems, so it's all good. Fwa! I flew away. <laughs> oh no, get back here! No. Why? I think I'll like go soon. I'm a bit tired <laughs> after today. You're already going! Alright, good, good night! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a bit early yet, but good night! You are quickly floats away. Whee! <laughs> I have to find some way to thank you up for today. Huh? Something's on the ground. It's not me. There... <laughs> it's me. There's a single leaf on the beautifully swept floor. Huh? Did just one leaf find its way inside? There are bits of dirt here and there on it. Did I track that in? I open the front door and drop the leaf outside. It flutters off into the night wind along with you up. <laughs> Although the temperature rises, it's not unbearably hot here in Okanazato. Perhaps because it's so far up in the mountains. What do you mean it's not fucking hot? It's flashing orange and has heat lines! <laughs> Though the rays of the summer sun still mercilessly shine down. After I finish my whirlwind of morning work, I return to my room and fling myself on the bed. I have some free time this afternoon. I want to try looking for my brother, but... I wonder what Toa is doing right now. I'm getting distracted now. <laughs> <laughs> I knock on Toa's door, but I get no reply. Hino cleaned the guest rooms today. Huh? What now? It'd be weird to ask Hino whether or not Toa was in his room. If he's not in his room, then... I recall the place where I first met him. That's gotta be it. I look around the shrine area and find Toa sitting on a bench. Toa! Uh, uh, oh, hello. Um... But thank you for yesterday. Jeez, Toa, you're acting like you did when we first met. Uh, ah, r right. It's just yesterday, go going to the festival and watching the fireworks with you. It was almost like a dream. It's unbelievable. Like, I should pinch myself or something. I wonder if I'm dreaming you up right now. I'm not a dream. Maybe you get nervous because you keep calling me by, by my last name. Why don't you try using my first name? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't do something like that. It's not forward at all. It's basically the same thing. You call Hino, Yua, and even Asora by their first names. They're, they're different. No, no, they're not. If we're friends, we should use our first names. I call you Toa, don't I? Uh, that's true. Come on, try it. If you don't, I'll start, I'll start calling you Mr. Kushinata. What? I, I don't think I like the sound of that. And quit worrying and just do it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Green Day. Ah. Is 
They're not right. I'm I'm worried that this might be a CG. <laughs> oh, oh no. fuck! Did it crash? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Um. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Is it just dark? We can't like, see. We've been blinded. It might. Maybe it's dark for a dramatic effect. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's it's impossible to tell. Oh well, look at me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe he's closing oh, his eyes. Okay. okay. <laughs> do, do, do I have to? You keep trying to wiggle out of it. Okay, face me and say it again. Oh, no closing your eyes either. Oh? Oh? Oh. Oh? Oh no, we're lagging over here. Oh no. no! Oh, you read my mind. <laughs> okay, try it one more time. Oh, you read my mind. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Fine. Okay. Um. He's almost got it. <laughs> um. Green day. Yes? Uh, oh! I said it! I said it! See? That wasn't so bad, was it? it yeah. Using your first name is fine. I mean, I named all my cats at my apartment, so it's basically the same thing. What? I'm the same as your cat? Oh, oops. shit. I messed up again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. As long as you're using my first name, I don't care. Okay. I will. Oh, here they come again. At some point, a bunch of cats gather around Toa's feet. <coughs> Surrounded by oh. cats again. A number of cats have curled up at his feet and closed their eyes. I find myself coming here, wanting to be with cats. They make me feel better, and help me relax. Same. <laughs> no. This, this time they're just like staring at all the cats. Just like, all cute. Did you come to see them too? It's not even registering. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, is what I'd like to say, but really I came here, here to find you. Me? Yeah, uh, it's a little weird asking this, but I have something you can help with. Is that okay? Uh, of course. Oh, I, I don't know if I'll actually be much help at all, but uh, I'll do my very best. Thanks. Anything's fine, really. I want to know everything about Okunozato. Can you tell me about it? Literally everything, please. Just. Every single thing. Thank you for choosing Neurosis for all your malware needs. Hello, Oppo, thank you for the 25, 25 months. 25 is my favorite number. Also, hello. Hello. Yeah. Yay, 25 months. Oh, no. Woohoo! Oh, no. 
Brevi emoji. Oh no, they're no. gone. Oh, they're dead. Oppo distracted me. From the Sonic is back. Oh god, oh. not Sonic. Hi guys. Hello. What happened? Oh no, they're dead, aren't they? I'm gonna flip Kirby's cross to be upright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. The power of Christ it will help no us. It is no longer inverted. Wait, we gotta take all the help we can. <laughs> okay, can you actually hear us now? Oh, hi! Yes. Okay, I don't know. My Discord's freaking out. Uh -oh. Moji just shut hers down. We'll see if it works. I don't know, but okay. let's uh, try again. All right. Okay. Okay. About Okunazato. Hmm. Okay. Where should I start? I've got it. It's more like me reliving my past, but I'll start with my old house. Oh, are we gonna do a music box moment? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my house was kind of in the middle of town. Oh. I say was because it's no longer around. It was near the top of the crescent shape. That part of town is pretty vacant now, and a lot of the buildings are empty. Some people even call it the deserted district. There used to be a lot of hot spring hotels there, but as I said yesterday, after the largest one shut down, so did the rest. The Furrican Hotel is one of the only places in town now that has a hot spring bar. Pretty much the only hotel left in town, too. It's been like this for the past few years. Well, there are hardly ever any tourists here anyway, so one hotel is enough. Hey, I thought of something just now while I was talking. Yeah? I think it might be a big clue for you. A big clue? I wonder. There's only one hotel in this town. It was that way last year, too. Oh. I feel like his words have made something click in my brain. Do you think my brother could have stayed at the Farincon Hotel? It's possible. Assuming he didn't camp outside. Speaking of which, when I was talking to the owner of the hotel the other day, something really bugged me. It was almost like he knew something about my brother, but was acting like he didn't. Huh. That is concerning. No matter how many times I asked, he wouldn't answer me. He kept blabbering on about let it, without letting me say anything. Ah. Kinda sounds like him. So, uh, do you know him by chance? The owner of the hotel? Yuzuki? From the back, where, back when he lived here? Yeah. The Murakumo family is famous here. Actually, there's something I haven't told you yet. Do you remember what I said about yesterday? About the Okune Panda? Yeah, I remember. You said a kid from the largest hot springs hotel hot springs hotel in town, which shut down, was the one who created it. But no one knows where he is now, right? Exactly. The truth is, I was talking about myself. I created the Okune Panda. Oh. Whoa! God, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what? Seriously? Sorry. I didn't mean to hide it from you. No, wait. I told you I grew up here only after the fireworks show, so... Right. I guess I was trying to hide it at that time. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I was trying to hide things from you. So, uh, you don't need to feel so bad about it? I don't really care. Could you tell me the rest? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, my home was actually one of the hot spring hotels here. My parents died right after I was born, so my maternal grandparents took me in and raised me. They ran the hotel in town. They both took really good care of me. We took baths together in the hot springs every day. Maybe that's why I act like this. 
I wonder why your skin looks so good. It's really smooth, too. Guess you have hot springs to thank for that. <laughs> a lot of people say I'm like a girl, but you're all right. Probably because of the hot springs. But after that fatal accident, everything changed. One day, they came to tear down the, our hotel. The Murakumo family, that is. What? The Murakumos have run this town since long ago. A huge mansion that sits alone on the hill past the deserted district is their family home. They aren't too happy about outsiders coming to town. So they destroyed all the hot spring hotels to stop guests from visiting. To them, that accident was probably the opportunity of a lifetime. I knew that, even as a kid. To me, they weren't nothing more than evil people who picked on my grandparents. But my grandparents were really hurt. So, even though I was a kid, I tried desperately to think of something I could do. <laughs> and what I came up with was the Okuno Panda. I used an old computer we had at home and put the Okuno Panda on the internet. But it didn't really catch on. The hotel ended up shutting, out, shutting down around the time I graduated from elementary school. When I became a middle schooler, Money was so tight that I even noticed. I felt so bad for my grandparents who were raising me in my parents' place. It was really painful. I wanted to do something. There was nothing I could do. In the end, I moved away. To me, the Murakumo family is... It's all their fault. Does that mean you, that mean you and the Farinkan hotel owner? Yeah. I hate him, I guess. He has voices a certain force to it that I haven't heard until now. I know that it wasn't actually Yuzuki, but his father who did all of that. But he and his father often came to my house. At the time, he was just a high schooler. But his eyes they were just as cold as they are now. I wonder if he knows that you're the boy from that hot springs hotel. It happened a long time ago, so I don't think he remembers it. But that's okay. There's something else I don't understand. What? <laughs> they completely demolished all the hotels. So why are the Murakumos now running a Furukin Hotel? That's true. I wonder. The cat looks toe as shoe. Sorry, you're right. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're right. I shouldn't hate people. Toe squats down and pets the cat's neck. The cat blinks its eyes happily. On the one hand, I'm trying to confront this town's past. But on the other, trying to forget it. At times, I don't know what I want. But what I can say for sure is that even though so much has happened, I still like this place. Yesterday, you helped me understand the reason why. I'm the person I am today because I grew up in this town. This town made me who I am. Toa. Sorry. I'm talking about myself again. No, I'm happy. You know you can talk with me about anything, right? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, of course. If I could tell you everything, I think I would be truly happy. Huh? Does that mean you aren't? <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> um, did all that help you find any clues about your brother? I could talk about something else if you... Just then. 
A little ways away, a group of five people crosses the road that leads to the shrine. They are all yelling something. <laughs> generic villager or somebody who wants to chime in with generic hey. villager. All right. This way, hurry. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? So many people. And now this time it's Oh, this is probably not all of me, but I, you know what? I hold your tongue. We, we got hurry. The group disappears behind the shrine. They all look the same. <laughs> Did something happen? Did like five quintuplets like run past us? Whoa. It, yeah, they looked upset. I feel kind of uneasy. Hope nothing bad's happened. It, if we go back to the hotel, we might learn something. Small town, so rumors spread quickly. That they're Just good a or small bad. town, girl. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're an unusual pale. <laughs> Did you just go for a walk? <laughs> we reached the main street. We were with the Yuki. <laughs> oh. Good luck, Moji. We're not, not a date or anything. Um, we, we just happened to meet uh, over there. As soon as Yuki points out that we're together, Toa goes back to act like he usually does. Um, the sun has just begun to set, so it's the perfect time for walkies. Yuki continues speaking, not paying any attention to how flustered Toa is. Yuki seems more like an adult than Toa. Yuki, are you going somewhere? Yes, I am doing my usual shopping. Um, it was supposed to be Miss Susano's turn today, but I have, uh, taken charge for it for a while because, um, she's bad at her job sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see. I'm sure Yuki was fed up with her for getting the shopping bags at the store. Uh, uh hey, Yuki. Sometimes people just run behind the shrine. You know what's going on. Yo, oh, have you not heard yet? I thought for sure that it would have already reached your ears. Did something happen? Oh, there was, was a mounted accident. Someone fell to their death. Oh, and a body has been discovered. A mountain accident? Again? Uh, yeah, uh, I grabbed Yasu as he was washing off and interrogated him. So that information should all be correct. But, you know, you can't trust pigs. Yeah. Um, Okinishan is, is built on a small hill. Fun fact. But then we, we must have seen... Yeah, you're right. Uh, this continuous string of unfortunate events is rather disconcerting. So is the music right now. Yeah, it's very happy yeah, for conversation. the event. <laughs> oh, please. you would prefer a music box? <laughs> no, this is fine. You may not be here for long, but do take care while you are here. We do not want any of our accidents to be happening. Uh-huh. Yeah. We will. Thank you. Well done. Uh, please excuse me. No, an accident. I wonder if someone fell off from that cliff. Hope it's not a serial killer. Uh, there's no use trying to figure it out now. We'll probably learn more sooner or later. That's true. Yeah. But you'll be okay, so just relax. Huh? Because I'll be with you. Huh? The music. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to try saying it. <laughs> I was just rehearsing. Just uh, rehearsing. Re rehearsing? Oh, I want to head back to the hotel. Um, he turns let's go! He turns back to me and briskly walks away. Oh, wait for me, Toa. Are you coming? <laughs> I hurry after him. The time of the clock reads 8 p.m. After I finish eating and taking a bath, I wander into the cafe. Oh, fuck. Oh, you again. Ah. 
Oh, you're even more wonderful after a bath and what? being locked away. You shut your mouth. I'm not in your route anymore. My oh, I, I mean, the route. I mean, good evening. Are you still not done working? Why you're... do you have to be so formal? <laughs> hmm, not quite yet. Customers come even after dinner, you know. Well, some people just guzzle down Bali Thief of Freaks. You see? I'm right over there. Hey, like, what's with that, like, tone of voice? It isn't like a crying has some barley tea after, like, taking a bath, is it? Hey, you try to keep your tone after your route gets done. <laughs> hey, I'm also here. Top 10 underutilized characters in this route. Number one, <laughs> me. And I'm exhausted from working all day, too. You at least you show up in this goddamn route. <laughs> what? Who you, said that? You You're worked all day, you know? be dead. What? What? No, I'm not. But but yeah, I did. Uh, I thought like in my anyway. Do you want to hear about it? This place is ridiculously short on dudes, I guess. I'm not short. What do you mean? <laughs> you you might be a little shorter than me, just like a few inches, and you know. Anyway, the boss here obviously <laughs> won't help, and his aura would never help out. Listen, you know. Uh... I've got my own work to do. Like, actually, though, I'm a cook. Can can you move your uh, PNG? It's kind of like touching my arm, and it's actually weirding me out. Uh, and, uh, it's weirding me out too. I can't. I don't. I didn't have anything <laughs> to do with where. What is this hand proportion? <laughs> Holy fuck! It's like, it is like, like on him. my arm, and it's freaking me <laughs> it's out. Like I mean, spider. you can't. You can't really blame. We can't really blame uh, Green Day Day Green about being obsessive over hands with this crew. <laughs> <laughs> and what work is that? I was late to dinner because of all my work. And what did you tell me? You said you'd get around to making my food later. Hey, that making food mean. takes time. What are you talking about? Hi. Okay, okay, calm down. Want some of this? Throws pie in face. What? Oh, yeah, thanks. I was getting really hungry. Wait, wait. This is just barley tea. I'm already drinking this one. Sheesh. <laughs> the only other reliable guy here is Yuki, but that squirt completely ignores all the work involving physical labor. He's like seven, God, man! He won't even like pull his old. weight! Child oh, labor! Yay, yay! May I remind you, Mr. Kuzina? That's Kuzina. not my name. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mini Booty Pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name, yeah. Squirt, Noah, a kid. That's not my name either. Yuki yells from the front desk. <laughs> hey, what gives? Can't even come up with anything more creative. God, does he have super hearing? Or is there a microphone set up somewhere around here? Whoa, does that mean that idiot boss is listening in on the conversation too? You know, that stinky pooby gross boss? <laughs> you got some guts to call that boss an idiot, even though you're skating. Um, I'm not scared. Plus, Susana works people to the bone. Susana. Oh, like, you want to have, like, a go at me, too? You were, like, we were, we're, like, working together the whole day. I'd rather be working with Green Day. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> I would like to have my route part, too. I've been trying uh -oh, to get uh -oh, that for a while. Uh -oh. Anyway, I got have the right to rest after working so hard. Hey. Isora, I'm gonna have another glass of barley tea. Please don't throw it at me this time. I only have one outfit. May I remind <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, go right ahead. What about the cutoff parts of men's outfits in this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Listen. I'm getting cut. G. <laughs> <laughs> like your cut, G. <laughs> like a gut nice. slap. <laughs> nice and cold. <laughs> so, how'd it go today? Did All you right. know anything about the subplot? <laughs> no, well, the subplot's not that simple, you know. I've tried this is my third attempt now. I'm planning on making my yeah. time taking my time and trying out some different things. Yeah, that'll be good. Just by coming here to Okunazato, you're one step closer to him. Maybe. I don't really know. I'm sure you'll find some sort of clue. 
Thanks, Gino. You don't say stuff like that very often, though. Have you been drinking alcohol or something? It is literally just tea. Come on, <laughs> let me say something nice for once. Oh god, not you again. Not you. <laughs> hey, hey. Looks like everyone's here. Oh my god. His voice changes every round! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Tsukiyomi, uh, good timing. Uh, please get this drunkard out of here. Ooh, uh. He no drinks alcohol, does he, eh? Well, he's, uh... He is uh, of legal age, eh? Okay. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I'll be your drinking buddy, then, eh? Drinking it's... bud, excuse you. <laughs> drinking bud? Going out for a rip, are you, bud? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Mr. Sukiyomi, I'm not drinking. Hmm? What do you have there? <laughs> a black tea cocktail or something? It's actually hey. red green fruit tea. Uh, this is his third gra glass already. Whoa! You know, uh... You can really hold your liquor, eh? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sora. Don't forget that you're younger than me. I, we have to keep reminding everyone of this fact. Yeah, yeah. If you make light of the athletic hierarchy what here- the fuck What the mean? <laughs> what? If you make fun of the athletic hierarchy, I'll beat your ass. Got it? <laughs> I literally beat a man to death, Tino. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm artsy, not athletic. I didn't really see that last route, Asora. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, by the way, hey, I have. Wait, that's <laughs> not oh <a> shit! <laughs> I saw the last <laughs> name. Lion <laughs> Steelers, number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jeez. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen Sosuke in like <laughs> two rounds. Uh -huh. Does anybody know where he put his cyber truck? I think he his cyber truck it. got stuck on the way. Yeah, it got, oh. got stuck on Hino's route somewhere. He's trying to get it fixed. Yeah, that's where I last saw it. He came for breakfast, but now that you mention it, uh, I haven't seen him since- Is he gonna die in every route that he's not <laughs> the route of? Like, what? What about you, Mr. Tsukuyomi? I was walking around <laughs> taking pictures and stuff, eh? Of the town all day, eh? But I didn't see him. I'm sorry. <laughs> to those, uh, <laughs> rural Canada. Susano, what about you? Hey, like, we were working together all day. So if, like, you don't know anything, how should I? <gasps> oh. Hey, cat specs, why don't you come drink over here? No, so still. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, 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 drinking, oh, drinking alcohol. This is 100% barley. You know, you know, beer is made from barley, right? That doesn't help your case. Green Day, you're not helping my case. <laughs> Noah chuckles. <laughs> Still, the Supernatural Club is all gathered here. But we haven't done anything benefiting, befitting the name Supernatural at all. I mean, we haven't done anything except for eat and party. Uh, but everyone tends to gather here in the cafe, eh, at night to chat. <laughs> Every time I pass by, it looks like you're having a lot of fun, eh? Well, uh, fun all, fun's all well and good, but, uh... You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have any club activities. Though I think it's perfectly fine to take it easy, eh? Not that I really know what the point of your club is. You're already a full-fledged member, Mr. Tsukiyomi. You've been hanging out with us in every single route, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, and Sosuke's not even anywhere to be seen. We get this Boy, motherfucker. Boy, have I. Yeah, what? <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> then why don't we continue what we were discussing before? You know... Okunizato's seven mysteries, eh? 
Oh, did you hear something new, Zora? <laughs> I did. I heard something from the lady in the nail salon when I was shopping this morning. She wasn't on the ceiling this time, so it was all right. Wait, uh, oh, she was. Uh, was she actually on the ground or the wall? <laughs> she was, uh, um, under the under the sink. Okay, oh. well that's a little better than the ceiling. But, um, where exactly do you do your shopping besides that you know store? The soup store, or the clothes oh. store? Oh no! Did you find good clothes there? Hey, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I couldn't oh. find any clothes at the soup store. This town was sh is shaped like a crescent moon, uh, right? But I heard it wasn't always that way. Huh? That sounds interesting. Go on, eh? Actually, uh, once upon a time, Okunazada was originally a one big circle. But this town was cursed. Oh, thanks for uh, cutting the <laughs> cutting the music back there. Uh, uh, I just saw Green Day Day Green's portrait slash thing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just noticed it. And the townspeople died. Graves no one dug started appearing around the edges of town. Graves? They were just mounds of dirt and not very big at all. So at first, the townspeople didn't think anything of them either. But after 10 years, then 20, as time passed, more and more mounds appeared, eh? So after hundreds of years, the mounds began appearing on top of each other, gradually bearing one part of the town. And so, just like that, uh, the perfectly round town turned into a crescent shape that it is, to, it is today. Then does that mean the part of the town that would be the dark bit of the crescent moon is all filled with the graves of dead people? <laughs> exactly. Plus, uh, as ten more years pass, that dark bit will consume the town until it's as thin as a new moon. Then the town will just disappear. Like, I've heard that story, too. Other people say that it's, like, actually one giant burial ground. Also, like, why are both of the women facing away from the camera and not showing their faces in the CG? Don't worry about it, Yua. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Either way, they're talking about graves, eh? What with the Revenant legend, too? Uh, this town seems to be deeply connected to death. Oh. <laughs> Ago, people were prone to regarding death with a considerable amount of fear and awe. Whoa, Yuki, when did you get here? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> Whether it's folk tales or religious teachings, more stories that have been passed down have lessons or warnings regarding death. No matter how advanced human culture has become, we still haven't been able to clearly explain death. What's the next in the CG? Where did we come from? Where do we go? Where do we come from? A cotton eye, Joe. I saw that on an epitaph inside of a graveyard at one point, and I thought it was really in the grave? It really makes you ponder the meaning of life, or at least that's what I like to think. <laughs> the, the meaning of life, cotton eye, Joe. True. <laughs> we don't even know where he's gonna go or why we I've been born. married a long time ago. <laughs> he was married. Oh, oh jazz man, hit it again. Wait, no, the band kicked up again. Are you really a middle schooler? I don't think most kids your age can talk about life like that. Um, I am undoubtedly a middle schooler. Thank you very much. You say things like that, and it's not very convincing. <laughs> the way you talk doesn't make that clear. You are not convincing. What? Everyone often talks about this town being crescent shaped. Being about that has always really bothered me as a middle schooler. 
Oh, if that's what you think, uh, <laughs> if that's what you think, Yuki, then there must be something wrong. What is it, eh? You are usually the one, question shape. With a pencil. <laughs> Our uh, PC is absolutely fucked. Oh, uh, thank you, the Rogue Silverwing, you. for the, the for the raid. I'm sorry for this accent, Rogue Silverwing. <laughs> you round out a half circle like this. I suppose it's something like a backward C, eh? Yeah, as I taught, that's the most common kind of question. But if the shape of this town is curved the opposite way, it is not. Huh, you're like, right, this town is shaped more like a regular front-facing sea. But either way, it's like a crescent, right? Moon, power, prism! Um, Whoa! We, um, they are not exactly the same. Uh, the backwards sea, Mr. Tsukuyumi Dwar, is a waxing crescent. It's a young moon, which will wax into a bright full moon. Whoa. In the comparison, this species is a winning crescent. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> can we can the same be said of a human life? Wow. <laughs> the same can be said of all religions. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the moon is on the 26th day of its cycle as its mission comes to an end. In other words, the moon is on its route <laughs> to compromise as the full moon wanes and disappears into the darkness. The way you say the moon makes me think of a shit post about the minions uh, or about the sugar Oh no! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> the moon! The moon! Uh, interesting. That fits this town's legend perfectly. Okinazuko. Okinazuko? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Will also gradually wane until it's just up and vanishes, eh? Or the Fire Nation attacks. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Moji's stepping away for two seconds to get more tea, so um, I will be okay. filling in for a minute. All right. Um. Anyway, then the C shape isn't a common crescent. Well, <laughs> you either call either way a crescent, but if you're being accurate, their meanings are completely different. <laughs> oh, uh, please excuse me. I overheard you discussing something fascinating to me, so I couldn't help but. <laughs> a middle schooler when they he hear you talk about their special interest. <laughs> Apparently, Yuki uses all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead and take a seat. I don't know where, but. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> but before that, I have something to tell you all. I'm going to stand. Hmm. I see that Sosuke is still stuck in his cyber truck somewhere. Well, I don't really think of it, I haven't seen him since, like, God, two please. rounds ago. We haven't <laughs> seen him in two rounds! Please! Uh, oh, if you're wondering about Sosuke, I saw him in the hotel bath earlier. He seemed a bit uh, unapproachable, but... Is that so? Well, that's fine then. I'll speak to him later. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Is it really that important, Yuki? <laughs> Indeed. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm glad that I get to talk a lot now. I'd like to request that as of today, you cease any and all Supernatural Club activities right here and right now. What? It's so sad that everyone, including me, is rendered speechless. Why, Yuki? I mean... It's just a request, but considering the, you know, tragic accidents that have occurred. Yeah, there are accidents. There's not like a serial killer around. 
No, no, I, do, I really don't think so, but do you all know that there was another mountain accident again today? Wow. Wow. Yeah. I didn't hear the details, but I did catch wind of that. People were, like, screaming. I just received a call from Yasu. It sounds like a body was discovered. <gasps> the person probably fell to their death sometime last night. They were found beneath the Okune Shrine. What? They, they were found beneath the <laughs> Okune Shrine. <laughs> what? I, I'm sorry, you didn't hear that. Is something the matter? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Behind the Okune Shrine. That's close to that overlook Toa and I were at yesterday, right? Toa also seems shocked. Past few days, dead bodies have been continuously popping up. They might all be connected somehow. Taking your safety into account, I think splitting up is a reasonable choice. Uh, but, uh... It, uh... It's still possible that they're all just accidents, right? Uh, as long as we're uh, careful, we should be fine, shouldn't we? Uh... That's not the problem. If we are speaking of possibilities, there's also a possibility that there is a murderer behind this. What? Murders don't exist here. There's no way of knowing when or what you could end up becoming involved in is kind of scary. I, uh, think that's a reasonable suggestion, Yuki. Mr. Sukiyomi interrupts Yuki. You could, uh, say it's not right for us to get excited about solving riddles. Uh, why have I turned into Patrick Warburton? <laughs> uh, <laughs> solving riddles when there's a string of suspicions and incidents going on, eh? Um, exactly. Actually, there's one thing that's been bothering me this whole time. Just one thing, though. And what is that, Mr. Kagachuti? <sighs> Who in the world is the admin? That's like my biggest concern. Top 10 concerns, number freaking one. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think they heard that. <laughs> um, nothing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> like ellipses. Yeah, everybody make the little anime noises. Everyone looks oh. at each other. <gasps> Sigh. Are they really not here or are they just not speaking up? Well, I guess actually I don't really give a shit either way. I'd understand if it was the admin who called us here was the one requesting that we break up the club, but it's just this little peanut over there. <laughs> Someone else asking us to? I'm not so sure about that. That's true. We might have all gathered here, but all we've been doing is chatting. We don't really have to call it quits. Do we? Nicely said. That's exactly it, Catsbags. Anyone who wants to go home can go, and people who want to stay can stay. It was merely a proposal of mine. If you are all fine with things as the way they are now, then I do not mind, as long as you do not die. And in any case, since I am not a part of the club, it wouldn't be right for me to force anything more on you. It's a little late to suddenly act like you've got nothing to do with us. You keep butting your nose into everything. It's right, Yuki. I'm not part of this club, either. Even if these meetings continue, everyone here should take your concerns to heart, eh? After that, everyone can just make their own decisions, right? Thanks, Yuki. You're welcome. 
Huh? <laughs> oh wait, I'm not Yuki. Enjoy the job. I apologize for my intrusion and my gruff voice earlier. I just had a frog in my throat. So then, I still have a lot of work to do, so I will be taking my weave to do my work, and hopefully I won't get kidnapped. Bye! Oh. <laughs> I hope you gotta, like, head back to I hope I don't, like, get kidnapped! Girl, please don't get kidnapped. Then I'll return to my room as well. Hino, don't drink too much now. You're still young. I told you, it's not alcohol, and I do what I want, also. The members leave the cafe in groups, and so the Supernatural Club meetings end. I crawl straight out into bed, but what we were talking about earlier bothers me, and I can't sleep. When I look at the clock, I notice that it's midnight. It's no use. I've been thinking ah. so much. <laughs> I'm wide awake. Might as well get up and try to calm myself down. I get up out of bed and go out into the hallway, being careful not to make a sound. I pass through the dimly lit lobby and head for the Freerin Cafe. The lights are all off and the cafe is pitch black. All that can be heard is the soft buzzing of insects outside. God damn it. The door's been left open. Maybe they're being considerate of people like me who come in the middle of the night. The cafe's so quiet at night. It's a little scary. I'll just grab, grab some barley tea and head straight back to my room. Under the light of the moon, I approach the kitchen and grope around for the dispenser. Uh, I think it was over light. this way? Oh, there it is. I grab one of the paper cuff sections of the dispenser. I put it under the faucet, press the stopper, and press the stopper. Cool barley tea pours into the cup. I release the stopper and take a sip. I can feel the cool, cold liquid running down my throat. I hope so. Woo! That's good. <laughs> I can still feel. I take a breath and relax. Even so, it's still a little spooky being in the dark cafe by myself. I'll take this back up to my room. Eek! I run into something and fall on my butt. At the same time, the barley tea I'm holding spills everywhere. Oops. I quickly look around and find someone collapsed on the floor beside me. It's dark to see, hard to see because it's dark. They must have run into me. I'm so sorry, I was spacing out again, and I... Uh, huh? It's, it's you? The figure moves so slowly. That voice. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, too. It's dark, and I can't see well. Toa? Imagine if it was Sosuke. Imagine. Oh, <laughs> I got out of the sub truck. <laughs> I escaped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm so helpless. Oh, be careful. It's hard to see because it's dark, but there's barley tea spilled on the floor there. Uh, okay. So he keeps his back to me and starts to stand up. They su stop suddenly, and for some reason he starts patting around the floor. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, oh no. Oh, uh, what's wrong? My my glasses. Oh no! I, I dropped my glasses. I, I can't yeah, see yeah. With my glasses. <laughs> it must have been when I ran into you. Sorry, I'll help you look. Oh, it, it's it's fine. You, you don't. I'll go turn on the lights. Uh, the switch is. Oh, st stop! So it turns towards me and grabs my wrist. The light of the moon illuminates his face. Oh! What? The face just inches from mine is different oh. than the one that's always obscured by thick glasses. Huh? I've only seen him on TV or in magazines, but the handsome face in front of me looks incredibly familiar! I'm Day, fucking please. shocked. There's no way. Holy shit. Superman! His, his sweet <laughs> eyes stare at me. Are you... Ato? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Um, his eyes glitter in the moonlight. They're brilliant straws beard. Oh my god. Oh. As we stare into each other's eyes, he comes closer. Oh no. If he gets too close, I... I can feel all the strength draining from my body. His what? eyelids move softly like he's refo- Like he's focusing in on something. It's... You. R right? Sorry. I 
can't see very well without my glasses. Uh, um... Who in the world are you? It appears... It appears that... God is telling me to stop hiding things from her. You stop hiding things from her! <laughs> Amidst the radiance of the moon, Ato, Toa, smiles gently. Worst kept secret, by the way. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's what the worst the kept game? secret. Are you serious right now? <laughs> then he takes a deep breath and exhales. I can feel his breath on my cheek. Okay. I'm... nervous. <laughs> this is all so sudden. I can't wrap my head around it. My heart's pounding, too. What? What's going on? I'm sorry for hiding it. I really wanted to keep this a secret. You know about me, right? Of course. It'd be hard to find someone who didn't. Then that'll make things easier. <laughs> I'm Eito. I'm a member of Aku Zero. His finger is so big. <laughs> <laughs> they are just Street Fighter proportion. Oh, I knew he was going to say that. Yet my yet my heart leaps in my chest. The glasses I usually wear, well, just for show. My eyesight is really bad. I'm so nearsighted that I can't see anything without them. He flashes his dazzling smile as he speaks. It's bright and friendly. My heart goes the wild. <laughs> no, they can't afford that. Plus, I've had serious anxiety problems since I was a kid. So whenever I go on stage, I take my glasses off on purpose. That way, I can't see the audience. My managers are always telling me to wear contacts, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to handle everyone staring at me. And I... Maybe I'm just too self-conscious. <laughs> he has completely bewitched me. His words don't even reach my ears, I'm just ignoring Girl. him. His silky, delicate, moonlit skin. Jesus I stare at him Christ. as under a magic spell. My heart won't start pounding. My whole body is dazed and I can't take my eyes off of him. When I draw back, my hand hits something. Huh? It's a pair of glasses. Toa, your glasses. Oh, right. Thanks. I hand him his glasses, but he simply takes them from me and doesn't put them on. Get the whole different not the same fucking man. sprite. That yeah. is not the same man. It, it is the same man. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, 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 the glasses pull back the hair. Stupid game. <laughs> Actually, it was Green Day Day Green not wearing glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's put yeah. on his glasses, and that's what she sees now. Oh, oh my this god. A toe vision. Toa <laughs> <laughs> So this is a huge surprise. I can't believe Toa is Ato. Is it really a huge surprise though? I find myself staring at him as he speaks awkwardly. It's a huge shock, right? Hard to believe that someone like me is a celebrity. Sounds like some kind of trick. It certainly is a surprise, but it's not like that. It's what I'm trying to say, but my mouth won't move! So it continues abashedly. I came back here to Okinozato to do a concert. I guess I'm pretty popular, for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure why myself. <laughs> His blushing face and shy tone of voice. This is definitely the Toa I know. After taking a deep breath, he relaxes. Seeing that he's calm now, I let my hand go. Please. Could we stay like this for just a little bit longer? Could you let your hair down? You look better like that. He squeezes my hand as I try to pull it away, stopping me. Oh, sure. Sorry. Thanks. Leaving my hand on his knee, he puts on his glasses. Then he messes up his hair a bit and lets it fall in front of his face. Ah. 
And there before me is the usual toe I know so well. Huh. Um. Yeah, this way's better. Makes it easy to relax. Ah. <laughs> I think it's the same for me. I didn't want you to see me without my glasses. Without them, it's like... I'm me. But I'm not really me. Wait, what, what am I even saying? But anyway, it's strange. I kind of feel like relieved now that you know who I really am. Huh. Um, I'd like you to keep quiet about this. Don't tell anyone in the Supernatural Club either. And, and of course, none of the Furukin Hotel staff. Please. Could you do that for me? Um, so we can say why or yeah, what do you okay. Want? <laughs> now, why do I need to keep this huge secret for you? <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Great. Once a stream, once a stream. It hasn't failed uh, yet. Uh, once a stream, this game fucking crashes. I just. I just like think it's so amusing that it looked fine, and then it just crashed yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, like <laughs> whatever. Th Fucking this games. game's special. It's a special little thing that we have here. How far are we back? Oh, oh my God, we're we're all the way here. All right. Well. <laughs> Well, Mon, you get, you get to choose wherever you fucking get there. It's been a while since we had a choice, actually. Yeah. I guess you'll put it back up once we get to the choice. Yep. Actually, yeah. I could just, like, sit back and relax, because it'll stop when we get the choice. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway. Hey, anyway. Anyway. So, is it gonna be three routes without Sosuke? Yeah. He's he, stuck in his cyber truck. He, he was in Hino's route. He he oh, did right. first aid. He just right, wasn't he was... in Asora's or this route. He's and just fucking to gone. Like, to we to a to to a to route. Yeah. Yeah, his hair's stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, Mon, what do you want to do? You want to say why or yeah? Okay. Why? Mon! What the fuck? Alright. Huh? Be nice to him! Why? He's just a little guy. I'll put the stream back up there. Oh, oh. Sorry. I forgot okay. that 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 happens. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Seven Scarlet, for crashing. Yeah, here you go. Seven Scarlet. Why? Well, it's hard to explain, but it'd be inconvenient in a lot of ways. He says, looking away. That's true. If people knew that Eito was staying at the Frincon Hotel, the entire town would be in an uproar. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. Hey, could we maybe meet up again tomorrow? There's something I want to show you. Oh yeah, sure, if the afternoon works for you. Okay, I'll call you around then. Okay. I'll wipe up the barley tea on the floor, so you can go ahead and go. What? Oh no, I'll do that. It's fine. I want some time to think. I want to stay here for a while. I take that to mean he wants to be alone. Okay then, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. I wave goodbye and leave the cafe. He has more hair in this glasses sprite. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. It ellipses. T Toa. Hello? What? <laughs> can, we, can we not? Woo! <laughs> Another hot one today. Hot ones? The wing show? <laughs> it's 9 a.m. 
When I finish drying the laundry and return to the lobby, I hear someone shouting by the front desk. Oh, oh Jesus. fuck. Okay. I know he's staying here, all right? Now quit trying to hide it from me. I see a thin lady in a suit screaming at Yua over the counter. I've, like, told you a thousand times, I can't release information on our, like, guest to outsiders, guest customer service. Yo, what's going on? Hey, help me out here. This old, <gasps> like, lady wants me to tell her where <laughs> some guy need tell his room is. She won't shut up. Oh, what? How rude. I'm a member of Toa's staff, I'll have you know. Why does the stupid girl have to get in my way? And I'm not old. I'm youthful. Here's my business <laughs> card. The lady checks it's the business card at <laughs> Yua, Yua picks it up calmly. Uh, Miss Makiko Gamo, right? Like, it looks like you're the manager of a major talent, ta talent, talent agency. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, what a dictionary oh. entry. <laughs> Here's my entry. Someone get me bug spray this instant. Oh, what's with this town? Disgusting. Fucking Fuck worthless ass. <laughs> but like, that doesn't mean I'm allowed to tell an old lady anything. It's like <gasps> my duty to protect the privacy of our young guests. <laughs> oh, you impertinent little... Uh, clearly, I'm not getting anywhere with you. Bring me the person in charge of this dump. There's, like, no need for that. I'm deeply sorry, but, like, I need you to leave. No. <laughs> mm, fine. Then how about we do this, then? I'll rent a room here at the hotel. That way I'll be a guest, too, won't I? Now then, could you prepare a suite or something for me? Whatever you have available, but, like, the biggest room available. And no bugs, no cicadas. I'm, like, deeply re... I deeply regret to inform you, old lady, that all of our rooms are currently, like, occupied. <laughs> Why don't you, like, come back again sometime when you've woken up on the left side of the bed? Well, if I had a hotel room, maybe I could! Is this what you call service? I've never been so insulted! I won't forget this. You two better watch out. Uh, us two? Yeah, you two! What? I'm just standing here. Like, come on, Green Day, we're all in this together. <laughs> yeah. I never met a more arrogant, old, obstinate lady. I gotta maintain, like, our privacy. Jeez, anyone would, like, turn a harpy like her away anyway. I really am, like, sorry for getting you involved, but could you hand this business card to Mr. Kushinada if you see him? Sure. Also, I'm going to let the boss know, so could you, like, watch the front desk for a bit? Sorry's. Makiko Gamo. Toa's manager. He's probably tracking him down since he arrived here ahead of her. I put the business card in my breast pocket. You have a breast pocket in that outfit? It's called my bra. That afternoon, oh, after I finished enough. work, Toa con contacts me, and I go to Okino Shrine to meet up with him. You know, where someone just died. Huh? Where is he? For like the third time. Yeah. Over here. Oh, Toa, sorry to keep you waiting. You scared off the cicadas. But I'm only just got here myself. I'm sorry to call you out here when you're so busy. He says, starting the fidget. What's wrong? Uh, oh, sorry. It's just kind of embarrassing. Why? Well, you saw me without my glasses last night. So now it's kind of like you're seeing right through me. Almost like I'm stuck naked. Oh, when I said stuck naked, I um, I didn't really mean it like, like that. I d Sorry. <laughs> you're funny. Uh, I am. But it really is embarrassing. The young man before me who trips over his words doesn't seem at all like Ato, who sings and dances so confidently on stage. They're totally different. I think I like him the way he is now. He kind of calms me down. 
As I think that, Toa seems to get even more restless under my gaze, and his eyes start darting back and forth. I suddenly remember what happened this morning. Toa, someone came to the hotel this morning. She left this business card. I hand him the business card. Oh. Gamaki. Gamaki? Yeah. Makiko Gamu. Gamaki for short. She's my manager. She wasn't too loud, was she? She was shouting so loud you could practically hear her throughout the hotel. When you refused to give her the info on the guest, she just about exploded. She's also really old. Susano's great at handling people. I can just imagine how angry Kamaki was. But that's fine. It's best to just leave her be. He says, crumpling up the business card and putting it in his pocket. You sure that's okay? Yeah, it's the best. She's like an overbearing sister-in-law who never shuts up. She was really against having the concert here too. She thought it was ridiculous for Ato to sing all the way out here in the country. Huh. A manager and a star. I can't imagine what kind of relationship they must have. So Toa, what is it you wanted to show me? Oh, right. It's really close. Come on me. Toa reaches out for my hand and stops himself. But we held hands yesterday. I mumble to myself. Huh? Did you say something? Oh no, nothing. Uh, really? Okay then. Um, it's right over here. Okay. Ta-da! This is Okune Middle School. I went here until I was uh, 14. What do you think? It's big, right? Wow, it's so much bigger than the school I went to. So spacious. I don't have one good memory in this place. Wow. Oh. I hated coming here. Oh. 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 No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're not your therapist, Toa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toa, that's horrible. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trauma dumping. You really are. I, I didn't want to make my grandparents worry, so I came every day anyway. I never skipped a single day. When I was in my second year here, my older sister couldn't watch what was happening anymore. So she sent a photo of me to a talent agency. She said I looked cute without my glasses, so you know, I'm a celebrity. You have a sister? Yeah, surprisingly, I do. We received a reply from the agency telling me to come in for an audition. I wasn't sure what was going on, but I decided to go and sing for them anyway. So I'd be right on the spot. Until then, no one had ever praised me for anything. So being encouraged, all of a sudden like that was unbelievable. It felt like destiny. It seemed like I'd been given my role. Wow, were you always a good singer? <laughs> it's painful to hear you ask that. Huh? Did I say something strange? Not sure what he's talking about. I tilt my head in confusion. But Toa keeps talking without it seeming to be terribly concerned about it. I like to sing, but there aren't any karaoke places here. So I always sung by myself behind the shrine. Oh, you mean Okina Shrine, right? That's why you love that place so much. I can still remember the reason why I fell in love with singing. I was in elementary school. No. Leave that for some other time. What? I want to hear it. Won't you tell me? It'd take too long. I'll tell you later. I don't want to hide anything from you anymore, so I'll definitely tell you. Don't worry. Fine. That's too bad, I guess. Guess I'll have to wait. Promise, Salter. Anyway, after the agency signed me, I 
decided to leave this town. My grandparents' hotel was in a rough spot at the time. I hated school, so I was more than ready to leave. But on the other hand, I kept telling myself over and over, I wasn't running away. I was going to become a new person, come back here someday. After that, I lived in a dorm, took voice lessons, and learned how to dance. After a year, it was time to make my debut. And that was how the famous Aku Zero got started. Our group was a huge success. We recorded a ton of songs. But behind that brightly lit stage, we faced a lot of crisis and difficulties. I think the biggest one was, and a lot of the people knew about this, one of our members deciding to leave the group. That was all, all over the news. One of the members left the group at the height of their popularity. Newspapers and magazines had a field day with it. Everyone thought it was only a matter of time before the rest of the group disbanded. But that really only ended up strengthening the feeling of solidarity between the remaining members. So we overcame it. We continued to tour and record. We won every award out there. One day, five years after the group had formed, something occurred to me. I'd done everything I needed to do. So I told the agency that we should end it soon. So you're the one who suggested breaking up? Yeah. He says, laughing nonchalantly. In that moment, he seems more like the celebrity Ato than the Toa I know. I stare into his smiling eyes, which seem childish behind those thick glasses. His grin is light-hearted, but bashful, like someone's just discovered him pulling a prank. My heart leaps into my chest. What's going on with me? My heart's getting out of control again. Ignoring my reaction, Toa looks up at the skull, his eyes filled with a quiet determination. Then, after we disbanded, I chose this place for my first solo performance. The Pune Middle School. My alma mater. Come on, I'll show you around this way. Okay. This is the gym where the stage will be. There's no soundproofing or anything, but that shouldn't be a problem for Okunozato. The other buildings are pretty far away from here. A real band is going to come too. Rehearsals start tomorrow. Today, I think they're just making sure everything's set up. Just as he said, there's a stage set up in the gym. I could picture a school band performing here, but not really a major celebrity. Why'd you decide to hold a concert here? I thought you'd said you don't want to have any you don't have any good memories of this place. That's exactly why I wanted to. To take my first step as a solo artist. It's extremely important to me to start here. Okono Zato is the town where I was born and raised. People here probably don't even remember me at all, but that's fine. I want to make this concert a success without anyone finding out. I want to prove to myself that I'm me, no matter what clothes I wear, nor how I style my hair. So, that's why I forced my manager to let me perform here. A single concert, one night only, for the people of Okanazato. Hello. Uh... Uh huh? Well, what's wrong? Is there something on my face? Um, so we could say, I'm glad you told me it all, or I hope the concert's a success. Oh, where's my coin? <laughs> you lost your coin. <laughs> You can let the coin decide, or you can grab the controller, chat. Yeah. Or you can make Sosuke appear in this route. Take the coin. It is... Heads, I'm glad you told me all that. Okay. I'm glad he told me all that. Huh? I felt like I was talking with the real Toa right now. Uh. 
Yesterday I was wondering why you're opening up so much to someone like me. I mean, we only just met at the club meeting. I thought maybe it was because I happened to see you without your glasses. Um... But there's no use in thinking about it. I'm honestly happy that you're opening up to me like this and telling me about yourself. Because you're telling me the truth. Yeah. I don't lie to you. Um... Then... Could you wait here for a bit? Huh? Oh, sure. I'll be right back. He says, disappearing behind the stage. Around the stage are a number of staff members holding a diagram, examining something. I'm sure it's their first time holding a concert in such a small place. Hey! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey! Yeah. What are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> oh. I cannot believe how many times we've gotten that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we should just always assume it's Yuki. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Only we staff members are allowed in here. Sorry about that. Oh, right. Oops. Yuki's the acting chairman of the concert for the school. Aito is scheduled to come here today, so all the staff members are on edge. What are you doing here? Now what? How am I supposed to explain this? I just, uh, know someone! <laughs> oh, what am I even saying? Well... Yuki's expression hardens and he sighs. You got in here by saying you know me, didn't you? I would appreciate it if you didn't use my name to do whatever you want. Well, I'll overlook it just this once. But if you wanted to come see it, you should have said something to me first. A middle schooler lecturing a college student. But I guess he bought it. Do you understand now? Yeah, sorry. W wait, I brought it here. Oh? Who appears behind Yuki? No, Your that's not Koa. It's Ato. <laughs> he has a different cat shirt on. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Without his glasses, with his hair swept back, he emanates an intense aura I've never seen before. Never felt before. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Hiwasaka, the acting chairman. I'm deeply grateful for your generous offer to perform here. Even even Yuki's nervous, because that goes to show just how much of a presence Eito has. It's nice to meet you, too. Um, Eito, do you know this person? He says, glancing at me. Yeah, I asked you. Really? Yuki looks at me again, gaping. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm guessing manager? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the manager. Um, Eito, I told you not to leave backstage. <laughs> a shrill voice screams behind him, coming closer. It sounds vaguely familiar. It makes everyone nervous when you wander around. The meeting hasn't ended yet, so get back to your dressing room. Uh, okay, okay. Come with me. Me? Hmm? I've seen you before. Where have we met? You didn't call me old, did you? Uh... No. Uh, oh, oh, I remember. You were one of Ato's girlfriends, right? Um, that, that vulgar one who pushed her way into his apartment and... Gamaki, she isn't my girlfriend. She's groupy. Don't get the wrong idea. Besides, you're being rude to her. I I know that, but <laughs> wait, she's not. Which means, oh, I know who you are. I saw you this morning. You're the maid from that fool in a can hotel, not the one that called me old. But you were complicit. <laughs> um, it, it's not a fool in a can. It's fool can. Now I know what I said. <laughs> Who cares? So you're shamelessly showing your face around here now, are you? There isn't a single decent hotel in this town. 
So now my entire staff has to stay in a cheap business hotel one town over. And it's really, really far. I've never been on a tour like this. Can you get back to that fool in a can hotel of yours and tell them to vacate some rooms? If they don't open up their rooms, get the person in charge down here. Somehow I feel like I have no choice. Gamaki, that stuff doesn't matter. It's like this meeting over with. Come on, this way. I won't allow it, Ato. I told you, romance is out of the question. Yeah, what, are we getting into a Tomei game? Get out of here! <laughs> Didn't, didn't you hear the rules of Uta no Prince? Come on. Yeah, 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 what's wrong with you? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. The rules, Edo. <laughs> when did you get so egotistical? I won't allow it no matter what you say. You can't break the rules. <laughs> Fine. I'm canceling the meeting. Come on, let's go. He says, taking my arm. Huh? Oh, wait. Oh, Grab them! You there, kid! Don't let them get away! Hurry up! Um, I'm not a child, and I will not be um, bossed around by a mean <laughs> old lady. <gasps> Those tiny little legs of yours, you brat! Get them! Also, they're like twice my size, and I'm not a brat either. Well, like, I'm, I'm kind of a twig. <laughs> <laughs> Someone pulls me along as we run until we reach a small tunnel in a wooded, a wooded area. <gasps> Why are we sprinting so much in this route, Toa? <laughs> well, I always wanted to try to make an escape like that. Yamaki didn't know what to do. Oh my god, I feel like my lungs are gonna burn. Oh, sorry. Are you okay? I feel like I've been running away with you ever since the fireworks show. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I guess I keep dragging you around. He says, the sun illuminating his face now that his bangs aren't in the way. He's so handsome! My heart is a little flip in my chest! <laughs> uh, are you okay? He looks at me worriedly, unable to beat his gaze and ignore his question. So, uh, you're not even wearing your glasses. Can you even see? Um, no, not really. Oh my god. Everything's blurry and out of focus, dude. <laughs> but it's strange when I'm like this and I can do things without hesitating. Oh and my god. I think I know why too. I think I have a bad habit of staring at people to gauge their reactions. If I can't see their expressions, then I can't worry about them. Well, I guess it's just a form of escape. It was the fastest way to leave behind the old timid me. Oh, sorry. I'm talking about myself again. My heart hammers against my chest with that sweet smile of his. I guess I'm falling in love with that smile, just like the one of his fans. It's fine. I, I like listening to you. I want to know more about you. Thanks. Hey, where are we? Not as I finally uh, <laughs> caught my breath, I realized I don't recognize this place. This is a nameless tunnel. It runs through the mountains. It's pretty long, but it doesn't have any lights or anything. Really narrow. Creepy? I heard people used to live on the other side of it a long time ago. But now no one allowed, is allowed to pass through it. I'm not entirely sure why, but ever since I was a kid, I was told not to go in here. There's a lot of rumors about it, like there's an abandoned house or a vacant shrine on the other side. All the locals think it's spooky, so no one goes in. Even so, I used to come here a lot. I wanted to explore it by myself and find some unknown world. It was so stupid such a kid. Even if I did manage to get through it, I wouldn't have anywhere to go. It brings back memories, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. What's that? He grabs my arm. Huh? What? See, right there? You're, you're bleeding. He points to my arm. There's a small scratch that's bleeding ever so slightly. 
Oh, you're right. I must have scraped that on a branch while we were running through the forest. I don't even remember getting scratched. You're pretty observant, Toa. It's really small. Hmm. His face clouds over. Oh, don't worry. If I tie my handkerchief around it, it should be just fine. I take my <laughs> handkerchief out of my pocket. When I do, something falls out, out of the corner. Huh? Something just fell. Noah squints at the ground since he doesn't have his glasses on. Huh? Oh. It's a marble. I quickly pick it up and dust it off. Thank goodness it didn't roll off. I've been keeping it in my pocket. That's a marble, right? You always keep it with you? Yeah, I've had it since I was a kid. I really like it, so I keep it as a good luck charm. It's really cool. Even without my glasses, I can see that it glitters. Huh? It's a pretty strange color, though, isn't it? It almost looks like the Earth. Oh, I thought so, too. The lapis lazuli blue glitters like it's a miniature Earth. I've never seen another marble like it. I hold the marble up to the sun, and the light makes it sparkle even more. Hey, where did you get that? Uh, I don't know. It's been in my box of treasures for as long as I can, can remember. I don't remember a lot, by the way, Toa. I, I don't remember much about my life. It's really kind of wild. Huh. Hey, if it's that precious, shouldn't you put it away? If you drop it again, you might lose it this time. You're right. Thanks. I make sure it hasn't been damaged, and then I put the lapis lazuli marble into my purse. <laughs> Is it that weird to be so fond of a marble? You look so happy. It's infectious. You can't see me, Toa. <laughs> yeah, what? What the <laughs> Atos, Toa's smile is so brilliant. Did he smile like that on TV, too? It's almost like a shining star. I want to keep it all to myself. His smile makes me happy. I know wanting to monopolize it is wrong. I scold myself for even thinking about it. <laughs> what is that? You're kind of zoning out. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, when I was with Aku Zero, I heard a few solo songs. One of them was called Lovesick. Oh. It will soon be released as a single. <laughs> mm, I wonder what song that is. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I've heard that one. It's used as a theme song for a TV drama. I think the lead actor was. Yeah, I was the lead actor. The producer happened to overhear me singing it, so he made it a theme song. And it became a huge hit, even though it was only a solo. And I wrote the lyrics to that song. Wow, I had no idea. That's a pretty passionate song. You actually wrote it? Yeah, I put my first gloves into lyrics. Once I started writing, it only took me what, 30 minutes to finish. That's amazing. You must be a genius. Double oh, thing. I don't think so. It might have taken me <laughs> only 30 minutes to write it, but it was kind of like all the feelings that had been accumulated over the past two years just what came pouring out. So in a sense, you could say that it took me ten years to write. When I finished it, the lyrics ended up being so heartfelt. It's hard to believe that I've written them. Lovesick. Your first crush. I don't think I could ever write lyrics like that again. I put my entire soul into it. Huh. You must have really loved your first crush. Yeah, I did. Love sickness, huh? Hey, I wonder if love is really some kind of sickness. It hurts and makes your heart go crazy, and who knows why. I wonder if someone could explain that. <laughs> you said you couldn't write something like that again. I think if you use lines like that, you probably could. Huh? Oh. You're right. <laughs> I just feel so strange when I'm with you. 
It's like my senses go wild. Oh, uh, whoa. Hey. Could I be lovesick? Cell phone? Is it mine? No, it's mine. I can't believe there's a signal out here. Sorry, I have to take this. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, we're definitely going to hold the concert, no matter what happens. We're having rehearsal as planned tomorrow. I'm hanging up. What's going on? That was Kamaki. She said that she wanted to cancel the concert. What? Why? Is it because he ran away with me? No, that's not it. Kamaki wouldn't fly off the handle because of something like that. She might seem like she has a short temper, but she doesn't let her emotions get in the way of her work. It's because of that recent string of incidents. You know, what Yuki's been talking about at the cafe yesterday. Strange accidents in this town. They haven't been solved yet. So she wanted to cancel the concert just to be safe. I told her no, of course. I want this concert to be a success. In the worst way. I know how you feel. I also understand what Gama, what your manager is saying. Would it be difficult to postpone it? I'll, I'll be out of time after I leave Okunozato. My heart pounds. What? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said it like that. I'm going to be busy recording my solo album next month. And after that, I'm going on a countrywide tour. If I put it off until the end of the year, my schedule will be so packed I wouldn't even have time to sleep. And I really forced Kamaki and the agency to have this concert. I let this chance go. It won't come again. I'm going to have a concert here. Here in this town where I was born and raised. Where no one remembers. That's what I need to do right now. Toa. His expression is really troubled. But it's also full of more determination than I've ever seen. I can tell how much he's been counting on this concert. I want to help him. <laughs> so... We might have to end it here because it seems like keeps going. Yeah. 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 That's fine. We can open it on a on the choice next time. We'll flip on a coin. Choice. Frame one to next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I honestly okay. forget what happens in a lot of Toa's route, so I'm not sure like how far we are in it right now. Did we forget about the bad hairdo? I forgot about <laughs> the bad hairdo. Okay. It's, it's uh, really it's bad. Like it's I knew, certainly hair. Like I remembered he had a different sprite, but I forgot it was that. <laughs> I, the, the shirt has taken me out, though. I love that shirt. I want one. <laughs> I love both of his shirts. <laughs> like, oh yeah. One is a cat playing, and one's just a big, big old cat head. <laughs> it's like the wolves, the three wolves shirts. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us for more Seven Scarlet. No. Um, everyone guessed Thanks, correctly. God. He was a fucking idol all along. I'm shocked. <laughs> hey, he didn't turn out to be a uh, kidnapper. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. the big plot yeah. twist of this one is not kidnapping. It was idol. <laughs> so, uh <-huh. laughs> but uh, we still have uh, we haven't seen the killer yet. So who knows when the killer is gonna pop up? Mm-hmm. Well, oh, boy. killer. Yeah, the, the killer. The, ki the killer's out there. What about the yeah, subplot? Okay. Who cares about the subplot? There's Who cares about the subplot? <laughs> Who cares? We haven't resolved it in two other rounds. Do you have any illusions that we're going to even touch upon it in this one? No. Yeah, she hasn't mentioned subplot in like two, like an hour and a half. So Yeah, I think she's forgotten about it. <laughs> she forgot. She forgot why she's here. Um, We're going to raid check today he's playing multiverses because raven just came out in that game yeah yeah well anyway uh 
we'll see you next week for more seven scarlet maybe the end of the route maybe not i don't fucking know anyway everyone say bye bye, bye. bye.